All right, our favorite time of the year, maple syrup time. We are... <laughs> getting our taps out and getting ready for this nice warm weather coming. Last year, oh, this one is running. Woo! I don't know if you can see, zoom in and see that, but we got some sap running today. Some of the trees are running, some of them aren't. Um, but tomorrow's gonna be 40s, mid 40s and sunny out. Most of these trees are, are probably gonna start running here pretty quick, so. Madeline's favorite thing to do, and really the beginning of spring for that matter, so. You guys stay tuned. All right, maple syrup season 2021. We got the cooker going finally. Uh, it's Friday night. We collected, uh, we still got a collector around here, but we got 55 gallons so far. Um, so a pretty good start. It is gonna get really warm this weekend. So I'm not sure uh, if it's gonna run much after Sunday until it cools down again. So, um, but as you can see, we got a good, uh, good boil. We gotta cut this long term and have it where it's only about two, three inches. You only want two, three, four inches at most in your uh, cooker while you're. All right, Friday night, we got off and on throughout the week. We've been boiling down. I think we're close to about five, five or so gallons, four to five that we have. And then we got, um, let's see what we got. We ran this through the RRO and we got probably 25 gallons in there at about four or five percent sugar. Um, and what uh, what that percent sugar means is basically it's like a rule of 86. So you take 86 divided by whatever percent. If you have two percent, it's 43. So what that 43 means is it'll take you 43 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup. So the higher percent sugar you have, uh, the better you're off uh, as far as making uh, making maple syrup a little quicker, not having to boil water. What we did, we built this little reverse osmosis unit. You have a booster pump here. This pressure gauge doesn't work anymore, but you would put one in line between here to kind of tell where your pressure is at. Uh, five micron filter you can pick up at Menards and then your RO next year. We're going to add a second uh, Second one in series so meaning it'll go through one and then you'll pass it through the next But basically what we get out of this is we cut about half the water 30 to 50 percent depending on how things are running, but uh, usually Usually close to 50 percent of the water we cut out by running it through this unit And, and that just saves us boiling time really when it comes down to it and some of our some of our equipment here we have our hydrometer we have our sap or a syrup 
syrup hydrometer here and so basically that top line is what we're going to target for a finished product that'll tell us we're at uh, a, a complete uh, amount for maple syrup and then we have a sap hydrometer and this basically tells us how much percent concentration that sap is to know to know where where we're at in the ball game and and how close we are going to be to having a finished product so i'll give you a view in here kind of see that if you can only smell what that smells like i have probably an inch and a quarter left in this pan and so i'm just slowly simmering it i don't want to hit it too fast get the evaporation off of it and uh, that'll just save us time finishing you know when you get to the finishing part you know if you don't have it close it's going to take you a long time to boil it on a, a turkey cooker or something like that so that's kind of where we're at uh, on this whole adventure here it's the second week um, we do have a bunch to collect tonight we'll do another uh, another series here as far as the finishing process we do have a new filtration and that should be coming here or hopefully soon so uh, we'll uh, we'll do a part two and kind of run you through all that.